thank you, sir. Or your honor. Um, I, thank you. So I do see that we do have a service um, on um, Mr. Combs, but for purposes of this hearing, you filed a motion for a temporary restraining order and or a preliminary injunction to stop all sales of the property and assets attached to or involved with said property based on the interest of plaintiff and plaintiff's connections to defendant's sexual assault of plaintiff Derek Lee Cardello Smith requiring a preliminary injunction and or a temporary restraining order. We did set that for hearing today. And luckily the Brooks Correctional Facility was able to make you available. Actually, they had to drive someone up today on another case. So, sir, um, I have received your motion and a proposed order. Do you wish to argue the motion today, sir? Yes, yes, your honor. All right, you may proceed then. Okay, the, pur the purpose of it is based on two actions taken by Mr. Combs himself directly with me here. We did a uh, live one-on-one -on -one visit in our prison visiting room. Uh, there's two meetings within the past two weeks with Mr. Combs on one meeting and then a financial advisor on the other meeting on Mr. Combs' behalf. And he stated that he would make me an offer to end the case and what happened to me because of other things that he stated he has going on in his life that require his money right now and he wants to sell, every sell everything off. And he made me a financial offer of $2.3 million to allow what happened to me to go away. And he stated that he's gonna be selling his property and under the, Cal under the 2005 California Civil Code 2881-2885, the creation of liens, which allows out of state justices and orders to cause a, a stop of any title transfer, property transfers in Los Angeles or any other place that he has property. He stated that he wouldn't be able to proceed with that sale. And he did it the day after I served him the uh, suit. And he also said that he won't be filing an answer to the uh, complaint. He said, you can find me in default or whatever. He has a better chance with default than he would with having a restraining order stop. And I said, so you want to hide what you're, you want to hide your money and stop from being, being quite possibly paid to me if I'm given the benefit of a judgment in my favor for what you've done to me. And he pretty much said, yeah, he goes, you know how we get down. And I said, okay, well, I disagree with how you get down. Your sales shouldn't go through. So if you're... I'm gonna, hold on. I'm sorry, Mr. I'm sorry. Cadello Smith, okay. So you went in a different direction than I thought you were going into. I thought we I'm were sorry. just gonna focus. No, no, no. Um, we are. You kind of um, went off on a different direction than what yeah. your actual motion was. Yeah. So um, what I just want to say is um, settlement negotiations. Yeah, um, I'm sorry. In this case, Stop are probably- Better not, yeah, they're yes. not for to be placed on I'm the sorry. record today. Okay. I apologize. Um, no, 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 it's okay. You're not an attorney. I understand that. So if we can just um okay. backtrack and focus just on your yes, motion. For I get what you want. Okay, thank you. If he's allowed to sell his property that he has in LA and the properties that are in his name being used and held by other people in Michigan then it will cause me harm because I can be tied directly to those properties through loans and through other areas of investment that I did when I was out there and while in prison through money that I've sent. And if he's allowed to go through with any of the sales, I won't be able to recoup any of my monies or anything from him as a result of any possible judgment in this action, if he's allowed to proceed with it. And a, an injunction or restraining order would help ensure that he's not manipulating and selling the property to avoid this, his responsibility in these matters here. That's what a temporary restraining order would do. It would prevent that from happening. Because you, uh, it's a very serious matter. It involves a lot of money, a lot of money. And, and him selling this is would help him avoid his liability for these actions done upon me. And I was just hoping that I'd be able to 
get the restraining order to prevent that. There won't be any harm to them, any any of the parties. There won't be any harm to them in any way. And if it's deemed that it's not justified, then he can go ahead and go through with the sale at the end of the, of the case. But one has to be put in place to stop this from happening. Okay. Um, okay. So thank you very much. Um, yes. Hold on, I'm just looking back through your complaint. Yes. Okay. All right, I'm going to check one more of your filings. So I'm going to step off the bench for two seconds and I'll be right back. All right. Yes, Judge Anzalone. Thank you. You with the defense? No, sir. I'm having a hearing and uh, they stopped the hearing so you could be heard. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're nice time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Is there anything else you wish to add? Um, there, there, uh, I was just, first off, just thank you for giving me the hearing and thank you for setting a pretrial on this matter. Thank you, Your Honor. There were some other filings. There were some other filings that you should have gotten. I didn't know um, if that's one of I, the filings you could have been referring to. So I received your complaint and all the attachments to it. And then I received this motion. Um, and I just wanted to review, take a moment to review back through the U.S. Okay. District Civil Docket and your complaint. So I did do that. Um, that's all. And yes. um, okay. okay. Anything else? All of the, everything that you're looking at, they're all tied in together. Every part, as crazy as this seems, as outrageous as it seems, it all ties in. Every bit of it, every facet. Okay. All right. Well, I have um, a proof of service showing. That Mr. Combs was served on July 6th um, of 2000 and let me see, is that 24? Yes, yeah. Yep. Looks like it. 2024 return receipt requested was provided. So there is proper service. Mr. Combs has neither appeared nor responded to this um, request. So I'm going to grant your motion for a preliminary injunction temporary restraining order and order that the defendant and their agents are hereby enjoined temporarily for a period of 90 days from the sale, transfer, or exchange, trade, or transaction of title or deed to the property listed as the address and placed on the market by defendants for the amount of $70 million. And this property and estate belonging who are connected to defendant Sean Combs shall cease and desist any and all trades, transactions, or otherwise stop the process of any further actions on this property being continued. And this shall have an immediate effect. I'm going to date this August 7th of 2024. And I am going to sign this. And um, we are set for a pretrial date on Monday, September 9th of 2024 at 2.30 p.m. Is there Your anything Honor. else? Yes, sir. Yes, thank you so much, Your Honor. Um, first off, thank you very much, ma'am. Uh, the second thing is um, under the summons rules and the court rules of service, Mr. Combs, the defendant, had 28 days after he was served by mail, 21 if it's regular process service. His 28th day was the August 3rd, and there was no answer on the default. And I understand that I have to motion verbally or in writing, whichever one you prefer at your, however you prefer, to have default judgment entered. And today is the, literally the 28, 30, 31, 32nd day, I believe. And I'd like to, to either preserve the issue of default judgment or judgment in my favor based on failure to answer. Okay. Whichever your honor um, would like. 
All right, thank you. Um, typically, we require that. Um, Ms. McGrain. Is Ms. Oh, Oh, no, I'm, 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 hold on. I'm, I'm talking to my judicial attorney. Typically, we require the um, motion for the affidavit and motion for default be filed. So I just, Ms. Adams, is Ms. McGrain in her office? She is not. I'm going to go find her right now, Judge. Okay. I know hold I on. read that rule. I read the rule, Your Honor. Uh, MCR 2.603 governs that. And it said the party can do it in front of the trial court judge or. Yeah. Yeah. by mail whatever you want okay hold on one second let me get that usually if you require it can you hear mr sala Ms. McGuffin marching down the hallway she sounds like a herd of cats <laughs> so sir um the court rule that you're referring to it's not a trial date so i, I think i'm right so you're gonna have to file the affidavit and request for a default okay okay, okay. yes you're and um obviously you'll be able to file that before a pre-trial date anyway okay yes yes your honor okay so right, the order so was granted the order, your your ex parte motion was granted, or your motion for a temporary restraining order was granted. I've signed it, and so we'll get that processed and back to you, and then you'll have to obviously serve that on the parties. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Can your order right. say any, uh, Your Honor? Can you add on your order any any Michigan representatives of him acting on his behalf for Michigan properties as well, as part of that order, or does that does your order cover everything? You provided the order, so I'm going off. Yes, the I order did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yeah. So I'm going off the order you provided to me, and I've signed okay, that order that's, already. That's okay. what I needed. Thank you. All right. Thank All right, you, Your Thank Honor. you, Mr. Thank you, Mr. Cardello Smith, and we'll make sure the writ's done, and we'll see you back in September. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. You. All right. Thank you. I said a herd of cats. I love that. She's uh, heavy footed. I always know when she's coming around the corner.